In this video, I'll show you how to block ads on the internet. So you'll see these ads sometimes, and they can be really misleading. Sometimes they try and trick you into clicking on them, and they can install malware and spyware on your computer, and more importantly, just things you don't want. Um, a lot of people were saying with this Shotcut video editor, which is a free open source video editor that I recommend, and it's one that I use personally, they were saying they went to download it, and it, and it didn't work, or it tried to charge them money, and it wasn't free. The download section here is where you download the real software. And this is the download link right here. But notice they have an advertisement, um, and they don't even necessarily choose this. But if you click this download button, it downloads something else, this NCH software that tries to get you to enter your credit card number and pay for something. And so, and there's ads on the side here that are distracting. So um, on my personal computer, I never see these. I didn't realize that it had this. And lots of open source, uh, developers, open source programs will use ads on their website because it helps them generate extra uh, income. It helps them be able to pay their developers and fund their operation. And so, but just know that these ads, anytime you see this little ad in the corner, this little blue X and this blue triangle, it's an ad and it can be blocked. And so we're going to use uBlock Origin. So just do a search for, uh, you can just search uBlock. It's actually Origin um, is a different version of uBlock and it will block all these ads for us. It's an extension to the browser you're using. So I'm using Firefox right now. If you're using Chrome uh, or whatever you're using, you can just find the correct uh, plugin for your browser. So I'll click on this one here for Firefox, and it takes us to uh, the download page where we can download and set this up on Firefox. It's very lightweight. It's not gonna slow your computer down at all. You don't really have to install anything. It just, it adds it into uh, the Firefox browser. And you can read the reviews. It's from the official site here. So we're at an HTTPS um, secure connection site with this lock symbol. So we know this is a really a, an official uh, add-on from Mozilla. So all we have to do is click here. We click add to Firefox. And then it will pop up, I think, with a message to ask us to authorize this install. I'm doing this on Linux Mint, but these instructions will be the same if you're using a Mac or Windows as well. And then it pops up with this message that just says uh, it's it's what it's going to do. It's going to access data for the website so that it knows what to block. It's going to uh, be able to modify our privacy settings within the browser. It'll be able to access the browser tabs and also store unlimited amounts of client-side data and access browser activity during navigation. So I'm going to go ahead and click Add. And then we notice up here in the top right-hand corner it's been added. This little symbol here, this little U uh, with, with an O, I guess, is that what it is? Um, so that's the uBlock symbol. And if you want to be able to block ads even in a, in a private window, you can check this box here to block it privately and then click OK. And now when we go back to this site, Shotcut, and we want, and uh, oh, it's already done. It just says advertisement. So where that ad was, it just says advertisement now. And if we go back to uh, the homepage of just shotcut.org, we will see that that ad has been blocked. So there's no ad here anymore. Uh, we go back to these other sites here, and the ads are gone, the ads that were over here and up top. And so you just don't see them. They're, it's as if they were never there. What this uh, plugin does, it just detects those ads and makes them invisible. So you can't click on them, you can't see them. And then you can also click up here, and it's telling you that it's blocking. Uh, on this page, there's 7 or 13% of the page is ads, I guess. Is that right? So it's blocked 7 ads here. Um, and it just tells us some more information. You can dive into this and find more information if you want. But hopefully that's been informative for you. You can block these ads, and you absolutely should. And the next step, check out a future video I'll make about the Brave browser. If you really want to get serious about your privacy, oh, that's not spelled correctly, you can download the Brave web browser, which is a browser that's focused on privacy and securing uh, your privacy and blocking ads. And also, it uh, pays you uh, to browse the internet. You get paid a little bit, like a, I'm getting like a dollar or two a month just for, for browsing different sites. And then you can also tip sites that you go to often. So Brave is another really good option. You don't have to worry about plugins. It's kind of a more secure browser. So check out a, a future video I'm going to make of that or just visit brave.com uh, to download that. But uh, hopefully you like this video. Go ahead and uh, leave your comments and questions below if you have any. And I look forward to catching you in the next video.